We all love our modern conveniences, but we seldom appreciate what goes into making them happen. Behind every invention is a heroic effort. Heroic can certainly be said of the achievements of Malcolm McLean. Malcolm McLean is the man who gave us containerization, transporting cargo via those heavy steel containers you see on trucks being loaded onto trains and ships. Today, containers are everywhere. Rarely has an idea so seemingly simple had such an enormous impact on the world or encountered so many obstacles on the way to fruition. Before the box, shipping was backbreaking labor. You had to load and unload a ship manually. There was breakage and pilferage. Shipping could be as much as 25% of the price of a commodity like grain, which of course added a lot to the price paid by consumers. Then along came Malcolm McLean. Sick of driving thousands of miles, he wondered, what if I could transport my truck by boat? As he began working on the idea, he realized that transporting an entire truck was an enormous waste of space. Why not just the container? McLean got a loan and bought two World War II tankers, converting them into what he called trailer ships. In 1956, they set out carrying 58 containers from the port of Newark to Houston. At first, McLean had a hard time getting customers. The big break came with the Vietnam War in the 1960s. U.S. military vendors had to get supplies to the other side of the world quickly and cheaply. Containers met this need. Instead of having them return empty, McLean drummed up new business from Japanese companies. Shipping costs plunged by 50 to as much as 95%. Because of faster shipping, companies no longer needed to keep big inventories. There was also less theft. The box not only revolutionized shipping, it transformed the global economy. Port cities you never heard of, like Felixstowe on the east coast of England, overtook London and Liverpool. In the U.S., Elizabeth and Newark, New Jersey rose up, as did Charleston. Those slow to modernize, like New York, Brooklyn, and Baltimore, saw business decline. It made possible a vastly higher standard of living. McLean's company, Sealand, grew into the world's largest container carrier. In 1969, he sold it to R.J. Reynolds. Several years later, he bought United States Lines, going head-to-head -head with his old company. But this time, he miscalculated. He built too many giant ships. The venture went bankrupt. McLean's story shows that even visionary strategies that produce success the first time can fail when markets change. When we think of entrepreneurs whose achievements laid the foundation for the modern world, we think of people like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and Henry Ford. Malcolm McLean's relatively low-tech innovation may have had just as much impact. Malcolm McLean died in 2001 at the age of 87. The morning of his funeral, container ships around the world blew their whistles. I'm Steve Forbes.